Hello everyone, it's Yuri here and today I am back in a week to do another video on the Ready Set Glow um, kind of program that Style Crane started. I made an order, I actually did a video on that, my previous video, and you can add three products that they have for the program and you're paying $9.99 for three products to try, which the MSRP value of these products is pretty decent so getting them for three dollars and 33 cents each is a really good deal um yeah so you can actually the nice thing about this one it's not like application you just actually if you're making a purchase style crane already you can just add these to your cart with it so it's a really good deal and you're only paying like 10 bucks more for three products um you don't get to choose the products i mean you get to choose from the line of products they already have already selected and after so many reviews come in that people buy it and they try it put the review then they put in new products to try so when they started this i did not go into it right away <laughs> um i just wasn't buying i didn't need to buy anything else from style korean so i finally placed an order and i just took advantage when i was placing an order to add this in you know, they do have free shipping on Style Crane if you spend 80 bucks. So, I spent well over 100 bucks on my last video if you saw that. Um, so today, I am filming this video because I need to write the review within 10 days after receiving the product. So, here is the video for it. So, let me just talk about the products I picked. These were a few of the products they had um, available to choose from when I decided to participate in the Ready Set Glow thing, review, challenge thing, open to anyone. So the first product I had picked was the Jumiso All Day Vitamin Brightening and Balancing Facial Serum. This is actually already a product that I had had on my wish list on Style Cream for the longest time. I was just waiting for a really good sale on it, but you know, new products come out all the time and I just don't think to buy this because there's so many good vitamin C products coming out that I'm just like, okay, I'll, I'll get it later when it's a really good deal. And getting it, obviously, for like three thirty three $3.33 is a really good deal. <laughs> and I have this YouTube channel, so post, obviously I can post a review. This one kind of surprised me. I, I wasn't expecting too much out of it. I was just expecting a normal kind of vitamin C serum, right? But uh, lately, in my other video, I mentioned... I, my skin has been acting up quite a bit, probably with the hot weather, so I've been using a lot of Sika lately. Um, my routine right now is a Dr. Jart Sika Pear Facial Serum, uh, Facial Mist. I use a mist and I'm using the Pyong, Pyong, uh, the Pyong Kyang Yur Calming Moisture Repair Balm. This one is really helping out my skin, as well as the toner from the same line, but since I had... I've been trying this, and oh my god, my skin is like doing so much better because, yeah, obviously the Sika calms down the skin with my inflammation and my hyperpigmentation that's showing up from like little bumps and a little bit of redness. But this is actually, while that Sika is calming, this is actually helping to reduce it and calm it down as well. So my skin is so much better now. I. You know, obviously in video, like, you can't really tell with my angling in my camera, but um, I was having a lot of, like, redness and bumps on my face, and they're still kind of there in my forehead. I get those little bumps on my forehead when I'm not using this, the proper skincare sometimes. But this has, I wish I took a before and after because my skin looks so much better now. I wake up in the morning, and I'm like, my skin is glowing. Like, this... I haven't even been using it that long. I've been only using it for like six, six nights. And this serum already has changed my face. And this is it, obviously, because I was using that before. And like, it wasn't giving me that glow like this was. Um, I can tell you a little bit more. So it has vitamin tree extract, 86.14%. And it has niacinamide of 20,000 ppm. So, pretty good. I really like this one. I don't regret choosing that one. Honestly, all of these are not that bad. I've been trying to try all of them a lot. 
for the time being. So this is this serum, the, the key three points of this serum that Jimmy So writes on the package. It's not water-based, it's a brightening booster. Def definitely is missing, you, you work. So if it's on sale and you think about it, go for it. Okay, especially for the, the, the weather right now, it's perfect. Um, and the last point they say it's lightweight and yes, I agree with all those things. And this one, I definitely recommend. I would give it five out of five stars. Yeah, I haven't given a solid five out of five for something that I've been sent to review. So that one is probably the first one. Okay, the next product I'm going to talk about is, that was kind of a skin skincare uh, item. This is kind of a skincare item as well. And this is actually a sunscreen. This is the Tea Tree Purifying Green Up Sun SPF 50 plus PA quadruple plus pretty high SPF and PA there really good and the main main three points they ran the package for this one is tone correcting calming and UV protection um they also write hydrating application on the side as well so the main ingredient for the sunscreen is tea tree oil and this is the brand dr circle dr circle and it comes in a package like this. This is the packaging. Um, so this one, the one for the the Ready Set Glow. This one is quite thicker, much more thicker, and obviously it's green as well. But this one is so. This one takes a little bit. Like it, it's not as easy to blend either. I will say. Obviously, the other one, I did put a little bit more product because this one's more empty. But see, obviously, it takes a little bit more time to blend in. But it does blend in. It, it eventually does. You just got to give her a little bit more time. But obviously, my skin also gives the same kind of sheen. Obviously, right after you blend a moisturizer and it kind of, it's not matte, obviously. But it is glowy. But obviously my hand is more white now. And you saw that when I was blending it. And that one just kind of melts in. This one takes a little more time to blend. And it does give a nice tone up effect. Blend it really good. Obviously don't like to put it on your nose and just leave it there. And your nose is white. Don't do that. But I would give overall to wrap this up. This one, this one was not my favorite out of all the products. This one had to be my favorite out of all the ones I picked for the Ready Set Glow. This one isn't bad. I think I should try it more. I do think it's a little bit too moisturizing for me. Like, especially for a combo skin person like me. I'm gonna choose this one over this one. Um, maybe when the fall time comes, I'll reach for this one a lot more. Especially since my foundations tend to be... Or my Korean cushion foundations tend to be a little bit light. So I like to use something that tones up my skin. Makes it like a little bit shade lighter. Especially to match my neck with my face. My face is obviously lighter than my neck. But yeah, I always like to use a tone up cream or tone up sunscreen before using my cushions. So yeah, this one would be a good one. I would give this one probably... A three and a half out of five I think I need to use it a little bit more but my first impression of it it's okay it, it's a little sticky and it obviously is a little bit more harder to blend because obviously this one I would give a five out of five and this one because of what this gives and what this gives in comparison of their their formulation and everything this one's more harder to blend it's a little bit more moisturizing more tacky Compared to the S401. So yeah, three and a half out of five for this one. Okay. The last product. <laughs> this video is longer than it needs to be. The last product that I selected was a makeup product. This is the Amuse Dew Velvet Tint. Korean. Amuse Dew Velvet Tint. Dew Velvet. Just Dew Velvet. Not, it doesn't have tint in the name. Ingre the it's a four gram lip t lip tint, 
and the ingredient the instructions is just take an appropriate amount and smooth onto lips this does have a shelf life of 12 months um this one does the sunscreen has 12 month shelf life and so does the serum pretty typical um pretty typical shelf life for all those products and this i said it in my other video i might have cut it out but I said that I actually wasn't a fan of this color. I don't know if it made a cut. I might have cut it out. I was not a fan of this color when I picked it. I kept looking at it and it wasn't actually the color. I actually thought about buying this tint before it was on the Ready Set, one of the Ready Set Glow options. I really wanted to try Amuse because the model is Surugi, I think, from Red Velvet. I believe. Don't come for me. But she is a model for for the makeup brand. And like all the colors are pretty. I mean, obviously I don't buy a lot of like dark brick red lip tints. I'm, I'm just not into it. And I don't think I look good with red lip. But this is kind of an in-between. It's actually, when I opened it, I thought it was really dark. And I thought like, oh my god, this is like one of the, like those dark brick, brick red lipsticks and it's not gonna look good on me and then I tried it I shocked myself like this I'll just put it on and show you this lip tint it might look more red on camera actually it looks pink on camera right that's kind of how it looks in real life let me just yeah, it's, it's pretty, it kind of looks red on camera, but in more natural lighting, it's actually a nice pink. Okay, maybe it looks pink, but this is the color Jazz. They only have one, you can only get this color for the Ready Set Glow. You couldn't pick any other color, which typically I like to go for like those pink, uh, like MOBB colors, and I get either like a coral or really light rose they describe like a light rose or light pink color. And this one wasn't described as a pink. But when I looked into it more and looked at the model picture of the shade, I was like, oh, this is not that bad. But I don't like, I don't like to put too much lip tint in general, as you can see. I only put like one swipe and I think it's good enough. And this lip tint has a really good lasting power as well. Like, I wore it to work today, and I wear a mask at work, and it didn't smudge my mask at all. I opened the mask, and it's just white. It's like, mask is super clean. So, this one is definitely mask-proof. If you're looking into a muse and want to try a mask-proof, more a matte tint from them, this one, definitely mask-proof. And this color, I gave it a lot of hate in my first impression, but it's actually really cute. Like, I actually really like the color. I thought it was going to be like a brick red, and I don't like brick red colors in K-Beauty. I really don't, but I'm trying to try new more colors, because when you keep, when you don't like expand yourself, like all my lip tints start to look the same, don't like that. I mean, they, they're not the same, obviously they're different brands, but they start to all look, they don't have much of a difference, so trying to try new colors, and this was a good opportunity to try. But I honestly just really wanted an Amuse lip tint. <laughs> I really did. So I was like, oh, if I'm going to buy this, I have to get this one for sure. But okay, my, my stars out of five. Actually, I would probably give this a five out of five just because the mask proof. I think that's what gets people a lot these days is that you can wear it with a mask and it's not going to come off. Obviously... You eat it with food, it's gonna come off. If you're careful, but if you're not eating, wearing this out wherever you're going, this is a really good one. So, out of all the products I picked, these ones ended up the best. But this one, I think I would repurchase in a different color. But this one isn't that bad on me. It's, it's not that bad, you know? But these two ended up, I give them 5 out of 5. I really do. I really recommend these. This one, this Dr. Sewer cool one, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical, like, not skeptical, I, I don't really like it, it's not my favorite, because like I said, I had a sunscreen that was similar, kind of branding 
of like what they represent it as like how they sell the sunscreen to you of what it does I will still pick this one so three out of five three point five out of five for this one but I think if you're dry skin you might like it better me who is a combo skin I'm I'm okay about it so anyways thank you guys for watching that concludes the review for my ready set glow products um please subscribe like and comment and even ring the bell ringing the bell will notify you when i post a video that'll be all you guys all have a great day and bye bye